Welcome back, beautiful people. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Now, up in just a few in our influencer segment, we are featuring the beautiful Farah Abraham. She's an American reality television personality, a singer, a writer, and so much more. She's born in Omaha, Nebraska, and she's been raised in Iowa. She received tons of public attention after she was cast in the reality television series 16 and Pregnant way back in 2009, which documented the pregnancies and first months of motherhood for several young women. Later that year, she was cast in the spinoff series Teen Mom and appeared in each of its four seasons until its conclusion in 2012. Well, she then released her debut studio album and first memoir, both of which were titled My Teenage Dream Ended, and that book made it onto the New York Times bestseller list. Today, we are chatting holidays, how to prepare for the season's festivities, and 2022 resolutions. She's going to be on in just a few with her holiday tips. Now, during the holidays, people begin to think about family gatherings and preparations for travel. It's easier to be swept up in the hysteria, especially as supply chains are taxed and sales overwhelm our news feeds. Unsure of what toys to get your kids? Looking for a Christmas tree? At a loss for where to shop? Well, you are not the only one. The holidays should be a time of happiness and relax relaxation spent with our loved ones after all. So here are some tips to keep in, to keep in mind. Order as early as you can, people. Shipping has been a nightmare for the past few seasons, and with supply chain issues plaguing the globe this year, it's only going to get worse. Don't wait on getting your gifts because you're hoping for a sale or think you'll have time. That won't happen. Better to order in advance and be safer than sorry. Now, you also must support your small businesses in your town or county. While Amazon and other big box retailers excel at choice, a local shop might have something truly special. Find a bottle of wine from a local winery or some craft beer merchandise from a brewery. Pick up some handmade soaps or bath bombs, home decor or jewelry from a hole in the wall store. Visit a local restaurant and pick up a gift card. Your gift will be all the more personal while supporting our local economy. Plan your budget and shop safely. It can be easy to get caught up in the hysteria of holiday shopping, so make sure you've got a budget set for how much you'll be spending on your family, friends, and of course yourself. Avoid hectic shopping centers if you don't feel like it'll be safe. Be careful for online scams by buying from reputable retailers and reading reviews of products first. Joining me now in the influencer segment is the beautiful Farah. She goes by handle at Farah Abraham, and she is right here to fill us in. Welcome to the show, beautiful mama. Yes, happy holidays. I got my ear full of all the goodness I remind myself of just by you saying all that stuff for the holidays. I'm ready. I'm prepared. This mom's ready to go. <laughs> All right. You have a, you're, you're a fairly young mom. Uh, a, you know, you had your child when you were a teenager yes. and she is now 12 years old. We're talking about pre-teen, yeah. lots of changes going on. Um, yeah. Let's start with what gifts you recommend for that age range, the Gen Alphas. Okay. What do they love? What, okay. what, are, what, are we, what are we gearing here towards? This is so crazy that you asked me that because I literally have below me, sorry everyone, I have below me a stocking stuffed for tween stuff um, because I had just gone like shopping for it. Okay, so for tweens, I have, um, I don't know if I want to give like the shout out to the brand, but I will say there's a tween friendly brand if any like uncles, moms, dads, grandparents want to check it out, but Petite and Pretty. They have like lip glosses with sprinkles. They have little travel size fragrances for the girls. Um, I would say it's a lot of health, like health beauty, just like natural hygiene stuff that's like light and it doesn't like bother the girls' skin. Cause you know, tween skin, it's acne prone a little bit and hormonal. So uh, like hair clips, just like good foundational beauty things, like maybe some eyeshadows. So I just realized these have been a hit during the Christmas holiday. And that is what is in my stocking stuffer right now for my daughter, speaking of tweens. <laughs> and not watching just yet, Farah displayed this beautiful stocking stuffer of a whole bunch of really eye-catching kind of uh, products for tweens. And, uh, and of course, that's her specialty because she's got them at home. Um, <laughs> yeah. So how many kids do you have at this point? 
Okay, so I am a single mom of one daughter. I would say my other cast members have had me beat over the years. They are definitely going on to some like third or fourth children. So I know like all these fun stocking stuffers, whether it's like blue light glasses, because there's some in here as well. Um, I know you guys can't see the packaging, but you know, anything fun, colorful, they have moving sparkles, if you can hear that. Um, there's a lot of cool effects. And I think anything engaging and like sensory uh, for our teens, tweens, it's like great for them. It's without a doubt. It, sensory is great. And of course, they like the bling. But of course, we have yeah. to keep it. We have to tone it down with respect to price point, because we know yeah. that they either break everything, lose everything, or then they just go into our closets. And at that point, you can share stuff. <laughs> yes. And that's why I love just buying. So it's like, you know, it's okay if it breaks and it's okay if it's throw away. Um, and I think these items, you know, if it's like a gloss or something that they can use and make themselves feel better, they tend to take better care of it. <laughs> oh, with, um, yeah, I for sure. Um, and let's talk a little bit about parenting skills and being a good role model for our children these days. Now you yeah. have, you obviously um, were on the TV series 16 and Pregnant back in 2009. You've come a very long way. You're a published book author at this point. Um, and you were also on the spinoff series Teen Mom. There's a lot of cattiness going on. There was a lot of uh, uh, drama behind the scenes, if you will. And a lot of people have compared you to Kim Kardashian in the sense of, of the way you look. You're quite beautiful. You're very natural. Personally, watching you, I feel you're much more natural than Kim Kardashian is. Uh, and I've seen some of the, um, the comparisons out there. What do you want to tell your followers that often compare you to Kim Kardashian and are always commenting on your parenting tactics, which quite frankly, I don't think it's anybody's business. Okay, so two great, two quick, two great questions. Um, I would say, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, I have anything but positive to say if you want to compare women to women, I think so thank you for the comparison. Mm -hmm. um, I also just say, like, I am a Syrian American. So I'm like, Arab American. And I understand that, um, you know, Kim or other um, celebrities that might be brought up, they are, you know, Armenian or they are a different culture. So I think understanding how I was raised and in different cultures, I think I was raised to really not be a part of drama or be so sensationalized into celebrity or fame. And I think when everyone sensationalizes what I do, it really takes away from the fact of why I became interested in sharing my life story um, to impact other teens and overcome their struggles so that they could be successful. And I think I've just pushed so hard to show that over my time. And that's also, you know, why I had to depart from Teen Mom. I went on to many other TV series and now I write and I'm work is working on directing and producing um, and maybe some comedy coming up. So I'm excited. Uh, but there's a lot more than just staying stagnant in sharing a social impact cause. And I think when the team around you wants to engulf in drama, rather than focus on taking care of our kids, protecting our kids, like there's a lot of craziness going on in the world, whether it's schooling or education. So I really wanted to focus on that and be successful and make sure my child's successful, number one have to think of the kids first and yes. um and the people out there that follow you on social media and look up to you um they also are the same fans that have contributed to your success yeah and so if if you're being talked about it's because you are quite popular and that's great so when you wrote my teenage dream ended um mm -hmm. and you moved on to the next chapter of your life which was like you said writing and now you're doing uh filming your your filmmaker pro producer how what kind of impact do you think your past will have on shaping who your daughter becomes? Yes, I would say my past of going through a lot of depression, grieving, because I lost her father when I was pregnant with her, um, and also starting mental health, like therapy, counseling. Um, I do like direct neurofeedback right now, even to help um, get over some traumas, um, some things that I haven't worked through. Um, I guess <clears throat> I would say that would help my daughter just know that getting to know yourself even better and understanding yourself and what you're going through helps her be 
as successful and as healthy as she wants to be. And whatever she wants, she can go for it. So I really hope not only my daughter sees that, but my nieces, my nephews, um, my parents, you know, I grew up not even believing in like doctors or medication or those things. And over time, my family and I have changed so much and in resourcing what we do need so that we can be healthy, happy, and successful. Like I'm happy going into the holidays, not being depressed this year. And normally that would happen with me. So I understand others might be thinking of loved ones who passed away in the holidays, grieving, seasonal, you know, affective disorder. I know it's getting cold out there. I mean, so for myself, look, in a positive way, I got a mug that would stay hot so I wouldn't have to keep running up and down to get my hot cocos this year. So I'm always thinking of bettering my holidays somehow. Oh, that's so much fun. I love the mug and I love what you just said. It was straight from the heart. Uh, and I love that you're so transparent. And I think the reason why you've amassed 3 million plus followers and you have such a, a loyal fan base is because you are transparent and you do tell it like it is. And whether it's a good version of you or a bad version of you, the fact that you are so exposed and so vulnerable in many respects to at the, at the mercy of, of your, your followers and fans, for me, actually, that shows great strength because not many people, dear Farah, can do what you do and deal with the good and the bad, the criticism, the positives, the all of that is really, really hard. And when you're out there in the public eye and when you're a mother and you have to stay strong for your daughter, when you have to navigate life as a single parent, essentially, uh, you, you, you start to look at the glass that you just showed me half full and no longer half empty. And I think this is a brand new chapter for you. Yes. And it's, it's a good time to recreate different ways of like, what's on my holiday mom gift. You know, I, this year I really thought of widowers for instance. So if I could, you know, extend gifts to other moms who are probably home alone with their kids for the holidays. I was really interested in that or also helping those in need, um, you know, single women on the streets. I think there's just different ways of looking at holidays this year for myself. I actually wasn't so gung ho on visiting the same family members and doing the same things. My family actually was like, wow, you're not coming home for the holidays. And I really wanted to take time for like my health, my healing and giving it back to other women who I know really, really love having another woman's support. And how great is it to support other women who have been going through such a hard time? I wish I had that at certain times over the holidays. So well, I'm now you're now you're giving it back. You're in a position of strength. It makes me feel good. good. It good makes for you. me feel good. And I think others can feel good too. spending time with others this holiday who would really appreciate their time. All right, cool, Farah. So let's recap: the blue light glasses, the cute glitter uh, for the nails, ah! uh, bath bombs. Uh, we have the travel. We have the heated mug. What else? Do you have anything yes. else? We have about less than a minute left. Any other cool tips? I mean, again, I'm big on heated things. I'm like such a heater bunny. So heated blankets. I also love the um, filled animal uh, beans that you can put in your microwave and keep you all cozy all night. That's good for travel too on your travels for holiday skiing and snow snow trips. So enjoy those. Yeah. And your book is still available, right? Yes. All the books, all the music, everything is online. So if you're interested in podcasting, audiobooks, Kindle, find me wherever you feel comfortable. Oh, we're going to find you, all right, because how can you not? You're all over the internet. You're hard to miss. Um, all right, cool. Listen, thank you for coming on. Let's do this again. I'm, yes. I'm happy to have you come on and review tons of products for us because you seem to be the go-to influencer here. So it was a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure. Happy holidays, Mama. Mwah. Happy holidays. Yes, please check her out. That's the beautiful and gorgeous Farah Abraham. She's on the gram and she's all over Twitter and YouTube. You can't miss her. And she's not just an influencer, but she's a mom. She's a book author. And now she's enjoying her next chapter. Welcome to 2022. You're listening to a moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York. We'll be right back after this.